Hi, my name is Whitney Lee. I'm a developer advocate here at VMware Tanzu, and I'm here with my friend Oren. Oren, will you introduce yourself, please? Hey, everyone. I'm Oren Penso. I'm the director of product strategy in Tanzu. Oren, do you want to kick it off? Yeah, sure. Um, we've started with what is Tanzu? Like, what's the mission in life? So, Whitney, what's the mission in life for Tanzu? The mission in life is to accelerate an, applica an application's path to production. Right. Then we, we basically said that that acceleration of the application path to production comes from the business need, right? The business yeah. need of mm -hmm. being competitive, making sure that there's an iteration and there's velocity for the application. And the business can basically push something the customer needs before any other competitor can. And that's, that's, the, like, that's the basic of everything. That's why we exist as Tanzu. And now we also, we've started with what were the challenges and the evolution of those challenges. We've talked about mm -hmm. like physical to virtual, virtual to containerization. What was the application architectural change that pushed that? And like the movement between monoliths and microservices, the fact that now just be, from number perspective, you have an exponential growth of different workloads that are running in your organization and applications that are being developed on on prem homegrown and um, so that that's the the evolution that's the change and it's been around like since almost 20 years ago uh, but it's still like an evolution that everybody feels like it's part of that that uh, digital transformation and even now with ai it's even more like noticeable right and i've said ai once or i said it twice again ai is not <laughs> <laughs> so, so the problem that Tanzu is solving is this wild amount of complexity when there are lots of lots of applications deployed and uh, d between different teams, they might be deployed in different ways and integrated with the company's infrastructure in custom ways. And it's hard when everything's done, uh, it's when it's the wild west to be able to manage all of that. The complexity is huge. Yeah, I think that's that's the major thing. Like to understand the complexity, you've said a lot about like the complexity mm -hmm. for developers and for platform engineers, and then how do you solve that? So we've talked about the fundamental thing, which is consistency. Consistency helps us like evolve and, and cope with a lot of challenges because once you have something which is consistent across the board, you need to address only it. There's no snowflakes. You don't have thousands of ways of doing things you basically need to manage one specific path. We call that the golden path to production. And that's why we try to help the customer abstract and get that value of the path end to end from code into a running application. Um, now in that golden path to production, we also laid out the different steps. Do you want to go over the steps with me? I would love to go over the steps, or um, at least the first couple will go over in order. So of course, of course, a developer needs to write code. And then the next step is to build that code into an OCI compliant container image. OCI stands for Open Container Initiative. So as part of that build step, that's where the testing happens. That's where dependencies are included. That's where some infrastructure concerns are taken on, like um, like certificates or operating system. But again, consistency here is critical. Do you want to talk about how Tanzu makes this build step consistent? Yeah. So inside the Tanzu portfolio, you have a build service. That build service allows you to get that consistency because most of the time, that different bits and bytes that gets into that code as part of the container image will be opinionated and managed and supported by VMware. And I think that's also where we've opened up a bit of a discussion about opinions versus non-opinionated. So I think it's important to stay that conversation here right now. Do you want to tell us a bit about like opinions? Uh, opinions are, hmm, well, sometimes having opinions built in is great because that's how that consistency can happen. But there's some things that a company wants to have opinions about. And how is Tanzu making the distinction in helping companies incorporate opinions where they need to be incorporated, but then making some opinions, some decisions for the sake of simplifying? Exactly. So I think that we, we, we got to a point where we've, we've agreed that opinions can help simplify 
life and make sure that the products that you're buying are products that has support and maintenance and like roadmap and, and other things. Now, in this build service it's specifically, you don't have to be opinionated. You can use out-of-the-box build service, but you can also build your own builder. And you will, either way, you will have consistency because you will build those container images exactly in the same way. Now, we also talked about the next step. Now that we have an image and we want to deploy that, no matter where do we want to deploy, we need some kind of a manifest that states how to take that image and run that on a specific runtime either a, like a container runtime or Kubernetes or other things. And that's where the build service is also extended into the deploy side in the sense of compiling and creating that manifest of configuration for that image to run. We also specify the way that we are building those manifests and how do we add additional configuration based on base pra best practices or our specific knowledge around Spring and Spring Boot. But I think that's like, if you want to know more, you can watch the two hours because again, <laughs> we can keep going. That's another place where things can get wildly complex and it can be nice to have some opinions in there for you to help simplify the experience. And then we got into the actual deployment. So now that we have that manifest or the package, in this case, we also create a Carvel package and um, how do you deploy that into a specific location that suits the needs of the application? So the application can have multiple needs. It depends on the application. It depends on where do you want to deploy it, on-prem, off-prem. There's a lot of different capabilities you do, that you may need for that application. We've talked about secured application. So if it's secure, then I want to encrypt everything. I want to expose a specific ingress controller. I want to give access to different services or specific services which are secured by design. That's where we have the concept of a space. And that space allows you to form the developer side, only specify the space that you need to deploy to and- And nothing else. I don't have to care about anything else as a developer. <laughs> that's it, with three exclamation yes. marks. That's it. <laughs> and from yeah. the platform engineer side, the platform engineer can create a profile that has the specific capabilities that that space needs for that application. All of that uh, deploy process and step is part of our application engine uh, capabilities as part of the Kubernetes stack. We also talked about, and I think that if I mention in Kubernetes, I will mention also Cloud Foundry. We've said that everything inside this lightboard, which is code, build, deploy into a space and moving forward when we'll get into the bind and update, Everything is right for Cloud Foundry and for Kubernetes. And Cloud Foundry is our base platform, application platform that is running for almost 20 years with tens of thousands of workloads that already run on it. It's not the Kubernetes stack, it's a Cloud Foundry. It's a bit more opinionated than the Kubernetes side, but it has the same promise and same uh, capabilities. And if you have Cloud Foundry, what I'm showing here also applies for Kubernetes. So that evolution of the Tanzu platform is to converge the promise and the values of Cloud Foundry into Kubernetes and bring those two together, at least from an experience point of view. It's uh, you're practicing what you preach in terms of consistency being key, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> consistency is the key. It's the key for everything, especially for security. And as you know, I have like my background in security, so. I, 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 I need that consistency to make sure that I, it's under management and secured. So what do you know about the bind? So me? what I know about the bind is that uh, it's a little simplistic for an app of a developer to just deploy. There's almost certainly other services that the developer needs to rely on. So how can we give the developer a simple experience when it comes to adding those backing services? Right. So from the developer point of view, the only thing he needs to know is those are the services that I have as part of my space. And that's the services that I'm binding into my application. I don't, I don't have to know anything other than that, not credentials, not configuration, nothing. So from the developer, okay. easy, right? Mm -hmm. From the yeah. platform engineer side, he basically created as part, as part of the space profile, the option to have a service a catalog, a marketplace mm -hmm. that goes to the space, and then he created those services in the space. Those could be either from the catalog or from external services. So 
it can be configured uh, with different like uh, external services that is based on VMs or on other things or Cloud Foundry, right, services. So that's also important. Mm -hmm. The developer can bind any service <clears throat> that is exposed as part of his space. Great. And so the developer only sees what's available to them as part of their space. And yes. that's another thing that we've talked about, projects. So projects are a, a super important constructs in Tanzu that allows you to create that you know, roles and responsibilities between the different teams. You can have a project per development team or a business line, and that project will, will have only the spaces and configurations and security policies and governance that that project needs. We also talked about different applications with different needs, right? The marketing site won't be exactly the same as the core uh, application. So that's another way of like differentiating between marketing web apps and the core business applications that we have in projects. The last step of that path to production and the golden path is the update one. Yeah. So I have an application up and running and I'm part of the application operations team. I need to do an upgrade. To do an upgrade, I have an application running on two different clusters or two different sites. I want to drain one of them, stop the application, upgrade and then start and then make sure that network traffic will be diverted back. All of those stop, start, um, upgrade, promote between different environments, scale or auto scale if I need to, uh, according to the different like uh, loads that I have on the application. All of those uh, actions are part of the update application piece. And that's super important on the day two onwards of the application. Last, the last one, the last piece, what's, what's the most important piece in the, in Tanzu Hub? The center of the Tanzu universe is Tanzu Hub. So Tanzu can be consumed from CLI or API, but Tanzu Hub represents how it's consumed via UI. And when we talk about um, complexity or all the different, there's so, so, so many things to consider when you're thinking about an application. And depending on what your role is in the organization, then your concerns are going to be very different. And so Tanzu Hub seems like a way to um, customize a dashboard according to each persona's concerns. I don't have anything to add, except of the fact that it's the center <laughs> of the Tanzu universe. The hub is the UI and the UX of the Tanzu side. It correlates and create the relationships between everything. And that's what allows us to actually connect the dots between the dev, the sec, and the ops. That's super important for all of our customers. Well, it's the integration point for personas, but it's also the integration point for all the different services and how they relate to each other. Right. Yeah. So that's where you can think about like the, the most common ex like example that I have is you can think about a CVE that you found in production and you just correlate that into the code, into the specific thing you need to change to basically mitigate and, and upgrade the version uh, to, to basically remove that vulnerability. And across your entire, entire estate, anywhere that might be running code that has that vulnerability too. And another important thing is like uh, Kubernetes and Cloud Foundry. All of those different thing, experiences, including the UI, we have that for Kubernetes and Cloud Foundry. So Tanzu, in conclusion, Tanzu is an application platform that allows you to easily push your code into a feature-rich environment where consistency is key. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks, Oren, for sharing your time and expertise. Bye.